guys so this is the last video so because I only have like five more things not five more things five more minutes worth of talking that I really need to say um, I want to rock out with you guys for a bit um, because I'm really realizing that some of you guys don't know what go go is so rock out with me for like two j not even two just one minute just one minute and we, we going hey this is wanted band this song is called lost and I love this song because they're gangster and it's a gangster song and I love the words. I wish I could see me. I'm beating my feet right now. That's a um it's a dance you do with go go. If you go online and type in beat your feet, you'll see it. Okay, so the words are, where would I be, where would I be without you, God? I'll be lost, lost, oh so lost. That, that's like my life. Okay, I said one minute, we are like at 1.33. So anyway, as I was saying, um, Kunta Kente, that's, that's where they are right now in Korea. Not all Koreans, but, um... And it was, she was so precious, and I, again, understand, she wasn't being derogatory. She was just saying, oh, I do know about black people in America, Kunta Kinte. And I blame the media, because that's all they portray. They never got the Cosby show. They never got, um, I don't know, any of the classics, A Different World. They didn't get that over here. In fact, I know certain movies I have to download because I know that they won't be in the Korean um, theater. Um, movies like Takers, Takers came out, wasn't in the theater. Um, Why Did I Get Married to? Wasn't in the theater. Uh, wait, oh, where's my camera? That. All right, yeah, Why Did I Get Married to? All these professional black people, well-educated, a little crazy sometimes, but it wasn't there. It's so many movies where black people are, they don't see them, so they don't do. Korea is known, um, actually, if you type in the hermit kingdom, like as in hermit crab, like stay to themselves, Korea is known as the hermit kingdom. They are self-authenticated. Um, they kind of have really not let too much influence in other than the influence they wanted, which is from white America. And as we all know, that's a part of America. That's not all of America. So I, I was so tickled when she, <laughs> Kunta Kinte, I was like, what? Why do you know who Kunta Kinte is? You read the whole eight volumes of Roots? That's awesome. Um, so as I said, you know, it was kind of a disappointment and I had to kind of buffer between one of my staff when this Korean owner was like, oh, I only want to work with white people. Well, why? What is it that you think or that you've heard about black people that would cause you to think that they would be a bad employer? Other than what you've seen on American media, you don't because you've never seen these black people because black people don't live here other than to teach. So, and sadly there have been, um, you know, the American military is here um, and you know, soldiers with liquor at a club do not necessarily give the best view of us. Um, in addition to that, um, they do not differentiate between Africa and black Americans. To them it's one, which clearly there are two different things, two totally different mentalities. Even the different countries in Africa have different Africans, obviously. And so you get those different mentalities, and but they blanket. They say, oh, are you from Nigeria? You will hustle me. And it's like, I've never even been, what? What are you talking about? No, and not all Nigerians will hustle you. Like, some will. A lot of them will, to the point that actually Nigerians are not allowed on any American-based installation here in Korea because of the unfortunate scams and things that have been going on with some of them. So the point is that... Um, if you're coming here, be prepared to justify who you are as 
a black person from America, I would advise you not to say African American because again, Korea, they're about 10 years behind the curve. They're an extra behind the curve as far as Christianity goes, but culturally they just are in about 10 years they'll be ready to see the equality, but right now in their minds it's still segregation. They they just don't know any better. Um, I'm really thankful for um, my opa and my other friends who are Korean who decided to live beyond that um, that stereotype that's here, the heavy stereotype that's here. And I'm even more thankful for my husband, wherever you are, boo. Thank you so much that you're going to live beyond the cultural pressure of having to do this and having to do that, and you're going to live for love. So I'm praying for you wherever you are, boo. I hope your, your parents are cool in the game. Um, and, it, and it happens. I have friends who are married to Korean men. They are black women married to Korean men. So it does happen. It's not like, you know, that taboo. But just be prepared. If you come here to teach or for maybe you're coming for education or to be an engineer, whatever the case may be, um, or an actor, they, they are very open to having uh, black actors and actresses. Um, <clears throat> or to pursue whatever your reason for coming here, just be prepared to, to defend who you are and the definition of what makes you you. Because there are a lot of stereotypes, there have been a lot of mistrust. And I had a friend, I was talking to him about it because the lady actually goes to our church. And um, I was like, hey man, uh, you know, this is what went down. And she was like, he said, oh, maybe um, it was a misunderstanding. Yeah, I don't know how I could misunderstand. I only want to work with white people. Um, I think, um, and in my head, I balance misunderstanding between miseducation. You know, she's been miseducated into thinking that black people are going to be a certain way. No two people, white, black, or other, are the same. And it's really interesting because in the same breath, excuse me, they say, oh, we only want white people. Um, but make